Hello students, welcome to this information session about the Bachelor of Science Quantitative Finance program. My name is Clement Wong, I'm the program director. In the next 15 minutes, I would like to give you some essential information about this program and hopefully the information can help you to make one of the most important decisions in your life. Okay, so first of all, let's figure out what is quantitative finance. Well, to answer this question, let's think about what is finance. So finance is a discipline that studies the economic problem of how to raise funds and how to invest them to generate good profit. So everyone has finance problems, individual consumers, firms, and government. So for example, how should you invest for your retirement? How should you choose different types of investment products offered by commercial banks? How, and how about a fund manager? How should this fund manager adjust his portfolio in response to the current investment environment characterized by low interest rate, Brexit, and the ongoing trade war between US and China? And think about a corporation. How should this corporation raise funds? Should it issue bonds or stocks? And once the money is raised, how should this corporation choose among different investment projects to maximize shareholders' wealth? So these are finance. So for all these problems, we need to do some calculations, of course. Some calculations are more complicated to do than others. And this is where quantitative finance comes in. So quantitative finance is a specialized field in finance that focuses on applying quantitative skills, namely mathematics, statistics, and computer programming to solve finance problems. Now, um, now some students I, I spoke to asked me this question, and I think it's very reasonable to ask. And this is, given that quantitative finance is a specialized area in finance, would it be too specialized for undergraduate students? Well, uh, actually, in uh, North America and in UK, quantitative finance is offered at the master and PhD level. So indeed, it is a very specialized area in finance. However, the kind of quantitative finance program we are offering in Hong Kong is designed for undergraduate students. So any student who is interested in finance and economics and has the required quantitative cap capacity can study quantitative finance. And we need to have a right mix of uh, quantitative courses and finance courses to construct this program. So what are the essential features of an undergraduate program in finance? I would say there are four components. And the program at Hong Kong U attempts to deliver all four of them. And I would rank the first component, finance first because domain knowledge is very important. Without a strong background in finance, any quantitative skill won't be useful. So finance is the foundation of quantitative finance. And with a good domain knowledge in finance, the second component is Q, the quantitative. So we would like to give students the required mathematics, statistics, and programming skills so that they can do their job. Number three would be an overview of the major area in quantitative finance. As I mentioned before, quantitative finance is a very specialized area. So this program tries to give you a glimpse into the world of quantitative finance, and we try to cover some major areas in this field, such as risk management, financial engineering, quantitative trading, and data analysis. Last but not the least, we would like to expose students to the required professional experience so that when they graduate, they are ready to join the job market. Now, what are the major differences between quantitative finance and other con programs in the market, such as risk management, actuarial science, and data analytics? Well, um, essentially, there are two points to remember. The first point is, Quantitative finance focus on finance issues. And the quantitative skills are treated as a tool. But for students who study other con programs, these other con programs 
either stress on the technical aspect of con skills or study some non-financial issues. So take for example, if a student st study mathematics, that student might spend a lot of time to prove some mathematical theories. But for quantitative finance students, essentially they will use the mathematical theories as a tool to build some financial models. Or look at a student who study computer science. That student might spend a lot of time to perfect the structure of the program so that the program can run faster. But this is not the concern of quantitative finance students. QF students would use the programs developed by computer science specialists to write some uh, programs so that they can conduct some algorithm trading based on their understanding of the financial market. Okay? And the second thing to keep in mind is that quantitative finance is offered by the business school so that the professor actually are finance professors. If a student try to study other con programs such as risk management or actuarial science, they will be taught by professors who do not specialize in finance. So the main point to remember is if you want to study finance, you're interested in math, then you should study quantitative finance. Okay, now, what are the main benefits of studying quantitative finance? Well, uh, according to my observations, I can list the following five factors. The first factor I think is relevant to everyone is to adapt to the fintech revolution. Nowadays, people are talking about fintech financial technology. So everyone in the finance industry has to know some fintech. Even for students who are not so keen on quantitative skills, they still have to pick up some of these basic knowledge and basic skills so that they become more employable. So for example, think about a profession in the finance industry that is always considered to be not so quant, namely a wealth manager. So a wealth manager advises his or her clients on how to manage their wealth, how to invest. Usually for this kind of job, the finance manager does not need to know quantitative skills. However, knowing some of these skills would definitely be useful. For example, the wealth manager who knows some quantitative knowledge can do a better job to understand some of the more complicated products in the market, like some millibond or derivative or structured products. So they can do a better job to advise their clients whether they should invest in this highly risky product or not. The second advantage is to develop better capacity for self-learning. Because of the nature of the program, students would have to train their analytical mind. And that becomes very important later on in their career. So when they have to further study to equip themselves in response to their need in their job, through on-the-job training or graduate study, they will be able to handle new knowledge because of their training. And number three, I think a Bachelor of Science Quantitative Finance degree definitely will be a strong signal of your ability to employ it. And number four, a quantitative finance student definitely would have broader career options than a non-quantitative finance student. So a QF student can go for any jobs that a regular business school student apply to, but QF student definitely would have an advantage for those jobs that require analytical skills or some con skills. Last but not the least, the program is a very useful preparation for students who aspire to get a higher degree, like in master program, and for those who seriously want to be a quant, they need to get a PhD. So some of my grad, some of our alumni actually uh, further pursued their study. And the following are some of the areas they get into. Quantitative, uh, for example, uh, computational finance, risk management, uh, computer science. Some went to study artificial intelligence, economics, data science, and some in the area of compliance, they study corporate and financial law. 
So let me give you a quick review of what kind of courses you'll be studying. So in Hong Kong U, if you want to get a quantitative finance degree, you need to take 40 courses. Among them, 16 courses are counted as quantitative finance major courses. So I'm going to just focus on these 16 courses. So there are four courses that cover mathematics and statistics. And the next five, the next six courses would cover some basic background in finance, economics, and accounting. So essentially, all students who major in finance would have to take these 10 courses. But for quantitative finance students, they would be taking some more specific courses in this area. So here we see that there are six courses for, especially for quantitative finance major. So we have two programming courses, and then uh, one course called mathematical finance that would uh, give you more advanced mathematical modeling skill so that you can learn how to uh, price the more complicated financial products. And then we have a list of different types of major electives to fit students with different interests. Uh, so, for example, if a student is very keen on fintech, if you look at the last three courses in the list, we have uh, financial programming and database, uh, big data analytics applied towards quantitative finance, and text analytics and natural language processing. So these courses will be very suitable for someone who is very keen on entering the fintech industry. Now, what are some of the major features of the quantitative finance program at Hong Kong U? I think I can name three. The first one is professional recognition. This program has been recognized by two major professional associations in the finance industry, namely Premier, that stands for Professional Risk Manager International Association, which is one of the two major risk management associations in the world. So our program at Hong Kong U is accredited by Premier, and students who graduated from this program can be exempt from Paper 1 and Paper 2 of their professional exam. And the program is also a partner program of CFA Institute, which is a highly respected professional association in investment management. The second major feature of this program, and I guess many uh, programs have si similar things, is a variety of value-enhancing activities so that students can prepare themselves for the financial market when they graduate. So we offer a variety of value-enhancing activities to QF students to enhance their professional experience. And you can see from the list that we have an international field trip, we have a, an executive mentoring program, we also invite practitioners to come to Hong Kong U to talk to students about some current topics in the market. And this is called the round table with practitioners. We also have close connection with the alumni. So we we'll organize some so-called alumni drinks so that students would have an opportunity to talk to alumni and to learn the, the arts of networking. And we also offer a full range of training workshops, such as the Bloomberg workshop and interactive uh, simulation trading workshop. And let me tell you more about our flagship activity, which is the international field trip. So every year, uh, we would take our students to other major financial centers in the world, namely New York, London, or Zurich. And on this trip, we would take students to visit some investment banks, uh, asset management firms, regulators, or some fintech startups. And through these firm visits, students can understand how the financial market works, and they also know what are the current issues that practitioners are worrying about and care about. And you can see from the photo that uh, the first photo is our trip to Goldman Sachs in New York, and we meet a bunch of interns and senior managers. And this next slide is our trip to Zurich, and we visit one of the major 
banks in Switzerland, the Union Bank of Switzerland. And this is also our trip to New York where we visit JP Morgan. And on this trip, we talked to some uh, quants who work there and we get a better understanding of how the uh, job of a quant is like, that what are the day-to-day -day job they have to do and what are the job re uh, requirements for quants. The last, but also I think the most important feature of our program is flexibility. Now notice that our program is structured as a single major. And being a single major is not so demanding in terms of credit hours, so that Hong Kong U students who study quantitative finance can actually have enough room to combine quantitative finance major with any other programs to uh, fit their, their own interests. So for example, uh, a student that wants to be more quant can uh, take a second major in financial technology or computer science. Or another option would be to double minor. Okay? So combine quantitative finance with a minor in mathematics and minor in statistics. For students who are more business oriented, they can combine quantitative finance with a minor in accounting or marketing. And for other students who have diverse interests, they can choose maybe minor in Japanese or Korean study or linguistics or psychology or environmental science. So the program is very flexible to meet the requirement for st from students who, who want to be very quant and also to fit the needs of students who, who just want to acquire some quant skills and they would like to pursue uh, other area as well. If you are interested in this program, I would like to extend a warm invitation to all of you to attend the admissions talk tentatively scheduled for mid-May next year. And during this talk, you will meet our current students, our alumni, and you will also get some tips about how to perform well in the program interview. For more information about this program, please refer to the following website. Thank you very much. Okay.